Hi, may I ask you another question? Of course. I have a good friend who is a scientist. He told me that we have no real control or free will, and that there is an underlying singularity behind the cartoon. He sounds a lot like you, but he has never meditated or been to India. I don't understand how this can be. Your friend may have never meditated, but he probably has a strong curiosity about the true nature of things, and also curious about his ultimate identity. That is all that is important. There are many ways to ask the question who or what we are. Sitting down with your legs crossed is just one of them. Have you ever heard about the Big Bang? Yes. That is the theory that says a great explosion happened and matter exploded outward from a single point, creating the universe. Do you believe in it? Well, it is as good a theory as any. What's interesting about the theory is that if it's true, it means that everything that happens anywhere in the universe is the natural result of that explosion and expansion. That includes all the things that happen here in our world. So logically speaking, life forming and the evolution of our characters that has followed is nothing but the dust settling from the Big Bang. So now the dust has settled and here we have this world. That's an interesting way of looking at it. No, the dust has not settled, it is still settling. This was a huge amount of energy released and it has to go somewhere. Everything that happens now is a mere unfolding of that initial explosion. The amazing thing is the fact that the dust is settling in such an intricate way, a way that has produced this complex world and these characters with their ability to think and feel. How does this all relate to free will? Hmm, let's see. Have you ever been bowling? Yes, I have. When you bowl, and the ball first leaves your hand, the number of pins that will be knocked down has already been determined. Nobody may know how many will fall, but it's been determined by the way you rolled the ball. The ball leaving your hand could be compared to the Big Bang, and the pins falling is like the dust settling. So you're saying that everything we do here is predetermined? Not exactly. It is an unfolding. No one knows what will happen. It is all far too complex. So do we have free will, or not? We appear to have free will. That's the way it feels. But that is just a result of the complex way the dust is settling. It is a clever illusion, a strange kind of hypnosis, probably due to the fact that these characters have such a limited perspective. From the perspective of the Big Bang, it would be impossible for one part of the explosion to move with its own free will, apart from the rest of the explosion. It is all one explosion. So to answer your question, no, we do not have free will, if you believe in this theory. So that means everything I do, every decision I make, even every thought that goes through my head is just a movement of dust from the Big Bang. That means I'm part of the Big Bang, and part of the universe. Of course. As this character, you appear separate. You may even feel separate. But if you look carefully, you realize that you and the universe are one. The universe is your ultimate identity. It is the universe that is seeing through your eyes as we speak. It is the same for me and everyone and everything else too. Like the upside down paper bag with all of the holes covering the one bright light, there is one source that is hiding behind all the different characters and objects, illuminating everyone and everything.